Hello and welcome to the reading of chapter 9 of Beginner's Guide to Sri Vaishnava. This chapter is about Thirumar Seyarvar. Andalpati takes Parasara and Vyasa to Thiruvallare temple. They board a bus outside Sri Rangam Rajagopuram and Parasara asks a party to talk about Arvars during the journey. Andalpati says she is very happy to know that they want to talk about Arvar during the journey instead of some other topic. The bus starts. Andalpati says, the fourth Arvar is Thirumirsai Arvar. He was fondly called as Bhakti Sara. He was born on Thai month Magam Nakshatram in Thirumirsai near Chennai to Bhargava Muni and Kanakangi. He was the Arvar who lived the longest in this world. He lived for almost 4,700 years. Parasara and Vyasa dropped their jaw in astonishment and asked, 4,700 years? Andalpati says, yes, he travels through most of the different philosophies before he met Pe Arvar. Vyasa asks, what happened after they met? Andalpati says, Pe Arvar taught him about Pirumar in detail and brought Thirumirsai Arvar into Sri Vaishnavam. The bus reached Chatram bus stand. Andalpati, he had particular interest in knowing about Antarayami, the Pirumar who exists within us and he was deeply devoted to Kumbhakonam Aravamudan. So much so that that Pirmal exchanged his name with Arvar and they came to be known as Aravamuda Arvar and Thirumar Seibaran. Wow, Pati, looks like he had been very close to Pirmal. Andalpati says, yes, he had been. Once in a village when he was travelling, he visited the temple in that village. The Pirmal was so fond of him, he started turning towards whichever direction Arvar was moving. Similarly, Aravamudan Pimperman was so fond that he listened to him politely and started to get up from his reclining posture when Arvar asked him to do that. Parasar and Vyasa eyes pop out in astonishment and ask, What happened then, Pati? Andalpati says, Arvar got shocked and requested Pirmal to get back to his reclining position. Pirmal was in double mind and so he is still in half reclining position. Oh, that is very nice, Pati. One day we should go and visit this Pirmal. Andalpati says, sure, we will go sometime. He stays there for a long time. He throws all of his works into Kaveri River and retains only two Prabandhams. Tiruchanda Virattam and Nanmugan Tiruvandadi. After that, he finally ascends to Paramapadam and continues to serve Emperman in Paramapadam eternally. The bus reaches Tiruvallarai. They enter the temple and have darshan. Of Thayar and Pirumar. Thirumisha Yarvar established the supremacy of Sriman Narayana. There were two interesting incidents happened in his life. Thirumisha Yarvar initially was a shy vet. He was, he was studying the philosophy of all religions and he was in search of getting an answer about the Supreme God. Once he met Perarva. Perarva was watering the plant which was kept upside down and the uh, can which he, uh, which he was holding with lots of holes and he was drawing water from the well with a, which had no water and the rope attached to the vessel was completely worn out. Tirmesharva seeing this he was wondering why he was doing that. Then uh, Perarva said, the uh, plant comes out of seed only. Then Thirmesh Alvar got answer for his question. He became a Vaishnavite. He embraced Sri Vaishnavam and he stayed with Perarva for some time. Then he moved to Kanjipra. Uh, there he stayed with his disciple Kanikanna. And a old lady was helping them. And uh, Thirmesh Arvar asked that old lady to ask for anything. She said, I want a very beautiful and young appearance. That was given by uh, Thirmesh Arvar. And she was seen by a king. And the king wanted to marry her. They got married. And king came to know about her. Ever youthful appearance. So he called for Kanikannan and initially he asked Kanikannan to sing in praise of him because he came to know that he was a good poet. 
And Kanekanan said, no, I will not sing. Then uh, King said, okay, bring your guru. Let him also sing in, in praise of me. Then he said, both of us will not sing in praise of any human being. We sing only in praise of, and my guru sings only in praise of Bhagavan. Then King got angry and he punished Kanekanan. He sent Kanekanan out of the kingdom. And Kanekanan went went to Tirmeshavar, informed him about what all happened. Then Tirmeshavar said, no, I am also coming with you. Then he asked Permal also come with him. So he sang a pasuram. Kanekanan pogindran kamaru pungachi manivanna ni kedakka vendam. Tuni udaya chenna pulavanam pogindren niyum mundan painaga pai suruti kol. So Permal immediately followed his instruction. Yes, he got up and he rolled his adhishashan bed. And he also walked with him. They went outside the kingdom that stayed in a place which is now called Orirakai. It Since they stayed there for one night, it was called Oriravu Irakai. Then the people came to know about it because the entire kingdom became very dark. Then they asked the king to uh, ask for apology. Then king realized his mistake and he went to meet um, Dirmeshavar, then he said, yes, I'm sorry, I, I realized my mistake now, uh, please come back. Then Dirmeshavar decided to come, then Dirmeshavar and Kanekanan, they were about to leave that place. Then Dirmeshavar told Permal also to come back. Then he sang the song, Kanekanan pokkudindan kamaru pungkachi manivannani kidakka vendam thuni udaya. Chenna pulavanam pokkudindan niyum mundan painaga pai padutu kol. So now you lie down. So they went back to the place which is now called Thiruvekha. The Permal is Yadottakari Permal. Otherwise he is also known as Chomnavannam uh, the Permal because he, he followed what uh, followed the instruction given by Thirmeshalvar and he lied down there. So he is in a reclining position there. So this shows that how Permal is attached to his Bhaktas. He loves his Bhaktas. He wants to be with his Bhaktas. So after this incident, Tirmeshavar uh, moved to Kodandai. So on the way he wanted to take rest in a village and he was resting on a uh, bench outside a house. Inside the house the people were chanting Vedas. They stopped after seeing him and the uh, the reason was realized why he understood. Tirmeshavar understood the reason why they stopped. Then he left the place but the people inside who were chanting Vedas they could not continue because they forgot where they stopped. Then Tirmeshavar Gave them the clue by showing the paddy seed. And they realized their mistake. They understood the knowledge, intelligence of uh, Tirmashyarva. Then they prostrated at the, at the feet of Arvar and asked for apology. The priest of the temple there, he wanted to honor him, but few people did not want. So Tirmashyarva prayed to God, You go, you come here and Show these people that you live in me as Antaryami. So Permal showed them how he is in the chest of Tirmashavar, that too in a reclining position, how he is in Parkadal. Parkadal. So that, that image was shown by Bhagavan. Then people realized their mistake and they all felt sorry about their behavior. Then after this incident, Tirmeshapira uh, Arvar, he threw all his writings into the Kaveri, Kaveri river. But the bar, the leaf which contained his writings, Tirchandavratam and Nanmuga Tirvantadi, it floated back to him and he, cal he took them and went to have a darshan of Aravamada Piramal, which was in Tirkudandai. And he wanted to have darshan and he uh, also he sang a song there, Nadanda Kalgal Nundavo, Nadunga Nyalam Enama. So he is, because Permal was in a reclining position, so he asked Permal to get up. So I have come. And Permal immediately, he tried to get up. Then Arva said, no, 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 you, you be in the same position. So Permal is in half reclining position. He, is, he, he looks like up, as if he is getting up. So even today we... Have a darshan of Permal only in that position. So Permal, uh, after hearing the uh, Pasarams, he gave his name to Tirmashayar, 
ஆழ்வார் ஸோ திருமஷாழ்வார் பிகேம் டு நோனஸ் திருமஷை பிரான் அண்ட் பெருமாள் கேம் டு பி நோனஸ் ஆறா வமத ஆழ்வார் ஸோ வி ஃபைன் நோ இன் திஸ் இன்சிடென்ட்ஸ் இன் திருமஷை ஆழ்வார்ஸ் லைக் திருமஷை பிரான்ஸ் லைக் ஷோ ஹஸ் த சுப்ரிமசி ஆஃப் பெருமாள் அண்ட் ஹவ் பெருமாள் லைக்ஸ் லவ்ஸ் இஸ் பக்தாஸ்